Welcome back to another Plinko Board Budget Challenge. Today we are doing Budget Challenge Ice Fishing. Good luck, buddy. How it works is we're each gonna take turns dropping the ball down the Plinko Board and whatever mount you land on is what you can spend at the store to get all your ice fishing supplies to catch fish. Today's high baller, $2,000. Low baller, $10. Uh-oh. Who's going first? You! I better not hear another Star Wars thing. I hate you! Star Wars thing. Ten. Your high baller streak has come to a close. I'm gonna go ice fishing with ten bucks. Oh, here we go. No train gang. No man. The fans train want. Gang! The fans want to see something else. No, they don't. Guys, who wants to derail train gang? Stop it. Stop commenting, train gang. Train gang in the comments. Let's go. It's all I need oh to my. win this game. Ah! <laughs> Fifteen. I told you to change it, boys. Five more than you, <laughs> peasant. Dollars. That's five more than the pet. It is only up from here, gentlemen. Both you got the low baller amount, so. Time for a new drop method. Big baller button. Activate. Wait, what? It's been there this whole time. Little break! Yeah! I'll take a thousand! Oh. Absolutely, man. Good luck catching fifth. Fifth? <laughs> Good luck, Kevin. Let's go to the store, fellas. You know, I think this one's pretty nice. It is seven hundred dollars, though. But look at this. This is basically a big cover that you sit in when you're ice fishing. This one's only two sixty. Just got a singular bench. Not as fancy, but cheaper. You think there's anything for maybe like, I don't know, fifteen, ten? Yeah. Bucks? All right, here's the thing. I have to go ice fishing with just 10 bucks. Bare minimum fishing supplies are pretty cheap. Check it out, so. 10 pound line here for $4. Yummy noodle. When it comes to ice fishing, I'm definitely gonna need something like this to drill a giant hole in the ice. 379? I'll take it. Uh, tungsten jig with a wax worm, jigging spoons, and stuff like that, and then also uh, little tube jigs. Okay. So if you wanted, we could just pick out one of each, or I can just do one solid, you know, gold. A gold tungsten jig head, I mean, that's that's gonna work 90% yeah. of the time. Yeah. We just made it to the lake, got our supplies, now we're gonna have to carry it out because the lake's frozen. Oh, careful, SpongeBob. The ice is slippery, by the way. Ouch! You know you can like drag that with the rope? There's rope on that side, you can pull it. Okay. Yeah! You got it. <laughs> <laughs> we just made it to the middle of the lake where we're going to be setting up our ice fishing camps. We're standing on top of water. Hopefully we don't fall in. Where do you want to set up? I might find a previously done hole. Oh, really? Watch out for those gopher holes. <laughs> it's solid. <laughs> what? Oh my. Anytime you're ice fishing, you gotta have a fort. Am I right? <laughs> Must have forts. Now, it kind of seems like this is only big enough for one person. Yeah. Is that on purpose or? Basically, but I may invite you guys over to hang out. Oh, really? Well, maybe I should go inside and test it out. There's a science behind catching ice fish. You gotta have your fort facing the sun because when the sun is over here, the ice fish are directed towards the light and the beam of the ice hole is directed right to your fishing pole. From there. All right, so step one for me, I have got to find a stick that I could transform into a fishing pole. So I'm currently inside my fishing tent. First things first, I got to get on my fishing attire to get ready for the day. I don't know how I'm going to make a hole yet, but uh, first things first, you got to prep your fish gear. So I've got noodle caboodle right here. I don't know what it's called really. It's the noodle. It does the work while well, you enjoy the fun. So part of my fish armor is this. It was $180. It's gonna keep me real warm, boys. All right, so I found one stick, it's so not that big. There's one more over here. Ah. Wow. Check out the fit, guys. I am ready to catch tons of ice fish. Got the jacket, the Bass Pro Shop shirt. I'm not cold at all. How about you guys? I just wish I had something to sit on. I don't want to sit on the ice, but still working on my hole. Look at my fishing pole. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to use my fishing tackle beacon thing to maybe open up an already dug hole. Let's go. I don't know if it'll work. Oh, man. You want to try my fishing pole? Oh, man. Okay. Wait, is it working? 
Probably not. Look at this man. Hey, these are Justin's glasses, by the way. He let me borrow them. Because I. Now that I'm all dressed up, I think it's time to start digging my ice hole. I got my tool all set up. <laughs> Easy work, man. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> all right, I got it all. <laughs> oh my gosh! Knock it off! Oh, Napoleon! Oh, my fish hooks! <laughs> What's going on? Dude, those are my fish hooks! <laughs> yeah! Right there! What's going on? Idiot! Oh, my gear's falling out! What's going on? That's my fishing pole! Are you kidding me? He's a real jerk. That guy. That coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am all done with my setup. I want to give you a tour of all the arts and crafts I have for my fishing adventure. As you can see, I have the table laid out right next to the ice fishing pole. So let's start off by showing you the fishing pole I got. Now this is specifically used for ice fishing. As you can tell, it's not as long. I already got something attached to it. Don't know the name of it. I'm gonna call that Goldilocks right there. And I got my tackle box. Got my jelly squids next to the Silver Ryan's gold. And then this guy, another jelly squid. So I'm gonna attach those to the end of the fishing pole. And trust me, I'm gonna couch, you know, I'm gonna couch the rest of the video probably. I wanna see you use a Silver Ryan. <laughs> but also, real life wax worms. The wow. fish are very hungry. So I'm gonna have to attach these as well. And when I do catch the fish, I'll be able to take it out of there. Pretty comfy, got the blanket, got wow. my lantern, nice and cozy. You look like a snazzy businessman. What can I say? That's what I did like to do when I go on business trips, catch fish. But I got the igloo container here with snacks. Because must have snacks. Let's go. Every adventure. Wow. So I'll show you some of my custom snacks I got that I love to take on fishing adventures specifically. And the final ingredient, snazzy. Comfy fishing shoes. That way oh, my feet stay warm. Those are fishing shoes? Yeah, exactly. They keep you warm, but they're also outside waterproof. I would like to mention that I have never caught a fish in my life. So I am hoping that this video ends that and that I catch a gargantuan fish, especially with the top of the line fishing gear. Let's do this. Now what we've got here is big reds. Trout worms. It's pretty simple, really. You just grab a wormy, and then you grab a spiky. If you can find him. Just don't stab your finger, right? I think. But you're so cold, you won't feel it. Exactly. The thing is, I forgot to buy bait. So maybe you borrow me a worm, and I'll help you dig a hole. I already dug my hole, Aww. but sure. <laughs> so there we go, we got one. Let's just keep that here, between okay. you and me. Can I put one on my hook? Low budgets, let's go, yeah. Yes. No, but let me show you the hole I found. Okay. All right, now, the question is, will it drop in? Bob's not. <laughs> I sure hope you catch a fish. Just gotta give it time. I think it's going down. Yeah, it looks like it. So you just stick that noodle in the water? Yeah, and then once it, it'll, it'll keep it from going down and I'll see it bobbing and I'll be like, oh, I need that. So why did you pull it back out? I'm trying to see how deep it's going. So my plan is to start with the worms and attach it to the Goldilocks here, drop it down, see if the fish are interested. Then we might have to go with the jelly squids or the uh, golden Ryan. Uh, Hyper was nice enough to let me borrow some worms. I've got my fishing pole all set up. Oops, he kind of fell apart. <laughs> Just keep on, uh, you know, crocheting them in there. Oh, well, I will. Okay, there, He's he is on, he is ready for fishing. Yeah, you might need my big hammer I stole from Justin. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be big enough for the big fish. I'm catching a big boy. Right? Yeah. Buddy? All right, you remember, fish and pull. And I've got, what the nuts? What? Off. what? What's going on here? Let's see it. So go down in there, you worm. So he goes first, I drop the rock. Let's go down in there. Go down. There he goes. See, my rock came undone. Now it's down there permanently. Here's the trick, right? Okay. I put the stick like this, the fish eats it, but then he can't go anywhere because it's stuck. Right. I don't even have to fish. Me neither. So let's go get warm over by the tent. What are you okay. doing out there, boys? Oh, you know, just waiting for the fish to bite. Go in there, man. 
for Pete's sake. So cold, the ice is freezing back over. So all the friends have joined me in here just to watch what a pro fisherman does. My hand's cold? Ow! And look, we can keep an eye on our fishing huts out there. Yeah. Our fishing holes. What if there's a fish pulling on it right now? I don't know. Both of us have systems in place where the fish can bite our worms and the fish can't know. get away. Do you even put, you haven't even baited your hook. I was waiting for you guys. Hey, thanks for letting us come in your house. It's cold outside. Yeah. Sure, man. All right, let's grab one of these weird worms. Guys, it is frigid cold, but. I'm excited about this. This would be pretty epic. Do these little rats bite? Like we... He's trying to say something like courteous to the fans. Yeah. Oh. Keep going. I'm saying it's cold out here, but it'd be pretty epic to hang out with your best friends in like maybe not this small of a tent, but like like a like a three person one. Yes. Yes. You know it'd be even cooler, well, guys. If we legit catch a fish, and by we I mean the pro fisherman who's never caught a fish before. Let's go. He can do it. My man Colton at Bass Pro said to just put a worm on this. Okay. You better put a wax worm on there and then we better catch us a big 40 pound trout. I don't want to touch it. These glasses are for Justin, by the way. He let me borrow them. All we do now is <laughs> send it. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, he went through. Oh, good. Now, how do I send it down? You pull some slack out. What does that mean? I was told, put it all the way down to the bottom, wait till it stops and then reel it up, play with it a little bit and then keep it. So in one play. You see any fish on our fishing poles? Not on mine and I don't know how to tell on yours. All right, we've been in the tent for like 30 minutes. And now it's time to check our fishing holes. Who do you expect to see? Bloodbath. Let's pull them up and see your worm. Oh, it's already kind of freezing over here. <laughs> no fish. No fish. Rats. Some Rats. I'm expecting to have a big trout. Oh, me too. I mean, look at this setup, right? All I do is pull up the stick, and there's gonna be a big instant fish, money. Right? There's the worm. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Look at Mr. Show Off over here. This is like his fifth hole. What are you doing? These jelly slugs won't go down into the ice. Why? What did you do to your pole? Oh my soul! I don't think no. that's the jelly slugs problem. Why is there a fishing line in your hat? The uh, line just keeps coming loose and then it won't. I try and let it go. See the jelly. Right. So if it sends down to the bottom, if we just loosen up, okay, there we go. Finally, gosh. Ah. See, it keeps getting trapped up here. Ow! You, sir, are the jelly slug. Where are the scissors? This thing won't pull. You're about to, what hey, quit on? yeeting that thing up. I have so much fishing line. This won't, it's locked up and I keep unlocking it. Look, <laughs> if we get the knife, it can go to the bottom. I can it, cut this rope. Can I have, a rope? <laughs> Who are you learning fishing from? That's what I want to know. That's the way the fishers call it. <laughs> Cut all this. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Oh, 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 down the ice hole. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Right. Get it off me! Right when you guys got in here, all went to the tubes. All right, so we are done with the fishing pole because it's only caused problems. It's a defect pole or something. So we have the fishing line and the brand new Silver Surfer Raren. Now, as you can see, we don't need any bait on it, but we're gonna tantalize the fish first. Ow, what was that? You season the ice first. The pole has now become a, what in, uh, what are you doing? Oh, wow, no wonder why the worms aren't going down there. It's pure ice already. <laughs> we'll go in right there. Are you serious? <laughs> it's two layers. <laughs> Oh, no. What are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh there you go. Oh crap. <laughs> okay, it was almost done. All right, let's send it before it closes up again. Speed is of the essence when it comes to fishing. Really? That's what Great De Jedediah said. So you're sure it's going down now? Oh, I'm sure. I feel it. It is like going down far. We're gonna shimmy it up like this. You gotta think back in the ancient days. They didn't have all these extracurricular tools. So you have to use your brain when it comes to these sort of things. You mean like a thousand dollars? Now we wait, boys. I thought that's what. You're not supposed to scare them. It doesn't scare them. Maybe some more seasoning. Yeah, good job. You know what? You gotta get the wormies as the seasoning. That's what they want. Lord, please just let any size fish grab this. That would be epic, right? Catch like a minnow. <laughs> they didn't. Did you feel bite? I felt. It feels like. Feels like it's freezing over again. <laughs> Why does it feel like there's something on there? But it's very small. No. Oh, I tug up. Okay. 
Okay, try. What if? No way. It's something. I definitely felt something. But is it still there? I didn't see anything. <gasps> oh, oh, you caught an ice cube. <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> We've got to catch something. We have a mass variety of snacks, including chocolate bars. A mass variety? <laughs> so those are chocolate bars? Gummy bears. Mm. All right, we also have popcorn, chips, jalapeno flavor, bay, a beverage, from Boston baked beans. Boston? <laughs> Boston baked beans. They're peanuts. <laughs> Jedediah told me this back at fishing school as like a sort of insider secret. No. Oh, here, put the gummy bear on here. We have worms. Yeah, but gummy bears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't know fish like candy too. You didn't know that, did you? Uh uh. <laughs> exactly. And why you're not catching anything. <laughs> How's your pole looking? Normal. My stick appears to be frozen. Not only that, we're gonna put Jimmy on there as well, which is a worm. You're putting a gummy bear with a worm? That'll get him. Yeah. Ooh. This is how we're gonna catch fish, boys. All right, drop them in. They know that like they're not supposed to have this fishing thing out that long, or it'll melt the ice. Have you been jigging? If you don't jig, then what are we doing? Well, if we're not here, I you... just sent it down. All right, now I'll jig. Within 30 seconds, we should have trout. 30, 29, 28. Where's oh, the look, gummy bear. Th there it is. They're both still on there. Uh, the fish must be sleeping. That's it. Oh, that's why. We came at the wrong time, guys. It's 408. They're not going to be up. What a waste of time. I thought we were gonna catch a fish. And by we, I mean somebody else but me. Well, we haven't checked your guys's. Yeah, let's uh, go try it. We can boat. go check. So we're just gonna eat them. Come on, come on, big fish, big fish. Come on, come on. Oh, that's one disgusting looking one. I'm real disappointed in myself. My no fish catching streak has continued. 27 years in the making. Will it ever be broken? I don't know. So what are you saying? I didn't catch a fish. So because all three of us did not catch a single fish, we're going home. Yeah! I am freezing. Let's get out of here. Look, everybody else is gone. We're the only ones on this frozen lake and it's freezing. But if you want to watch another video of ours, click one of these over here. Make sure you laugh daily, and we'll see you next time. Baba Ganoush! And vote who is the best fisherman in the comments. <laughs>